What's going on? Strolix Art here, also known as Agent Tote Goat, and today we'll be doing another Boruto Chapter 2 re review. Actually, it's Chapter 2 and 3, so I'll be reviewing two chapters of Boruto. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's get back to Chapter 2, shall we? So not much is different from the movie, to be honest, and from the anime, except what I will give the anime and the movie both credits is the fact that their animation, well, Boruto and Naruto fight animation is always uh, goaded when it's animated, like, literally. The fights is, there's no, nothing I have bad to say about the fights, the fights is always good in the anime. Now here's what I have to say for this character right here. I know he's a fan favorite, but yeah, for all the shit that I'm getting in this video from the Boruto fans, I fucking hate this character. I hate Momoshiki. Knowing what part he will play in Boruto later down the line and what's happening, I cannot fucking stand Momoshiki. I just want to get it off the bat. I would never liked him. Not in the movie, not in the anime, and now in the manga, since he's originally, his character is originally written that way, especially not in the fucking manga. Fuck Momoshiki. And I just want this to be said, I cannot stand this character. I really can't. See, here's another criticism I have with the manga right here. And uh, No, look, this is exactly what I said earlier. This is why I found it so weird for Konohamaru to be the one to use the ninja tools and the fact that even Borta knows that Konohamaru is master the Rasengan and doesn't need the ninja tools and is blatantly asking him to teach him how to use the Rasengan makes this actually more infuriating. I'm not gonna lie, this actually pisses me off. It actually does. Okay, see, I'm not even mad at the fact that Borto has managed to pull through the training at such a short period of time considering what his actual Rasengan does and how fucking OP it is hey I'm not mad at it at all mm -mm. okay whoa 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 dude um he's straight up making me feel like holy crap you are creepy as shit Brother, that, that freaky ass smile you giving him and that look, yeah, uh-uh. And then the way he asked me, is there a problem, young master? Yeah, for sure there is. At least I have a problem looking at this, reading this, brother. You too freaky for me. Get, get, yo, you sure you're not with Diddy? You sure you ain't uh, associated with him? Because that kid just walked out in a disappointing training session, right? And he's like in the village just minding his own business and then this dude just walks up to him like that and he's like giving him that freaky ass smile brother uh nah okay this scene in its of itself fucking pisses me off i know it's a demonstration of the ninja tools but this motherfucker right here he should have died in the goddamn fucking final fight momoshiki should have done blasted him with that giant ass for sengon bro the fact that you be disrespecting the fourth Hokage, Jiraiya, all the effort, even Naruto and Konamu, the, the, the fact that you be disrespecting the Jutsu itself by just being like, Ha! Huh, look at this! I created a tool that can replicate! For the get show fucking chat cheap chat GPT AI generated fucking bullshit ass for saying gonna up out of here, nigga. Get uh, bro. Get gone. I'm a, I hate this character more than Momoshiki. Did, had Momoshiki killed him, maybe then I would have liked Momoshiki more. Real shit. Oh, brother. We know damn well Sasuke wasn't seeing that when he looked at the Rasengan. He was already aware. He was probably like, Alright, you want to cheat? Bet. Let's see how far you last in the exam with that Teimu ass Rasengan, little bro. He, he, he was probably already in, on that fucking timing. Ain't no way he was seeing this. This is just like um, trying to fool the viewers into believing that Sasuke looked at it like that. Nah, Sasuke was already aware and was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all know what's ironic about this? 
the fact that uh, two blue vortex Borto would literally solo the entire fucking Nartoverse. It, it's that bad. So yeah, power wise, he he would literally be enough. Hmm. So Killer Bee is dead. That's cool, I guess. <sighs> okay, what annoys me a little bit about this is the fact that with Killer B, I feel like the screen time he had in Shippuden, sure that's enough, but there could have been a there could have been a little bit more elaboration on Killer B's part, how he turned out to be, a little introduction. And then maybe then, then it could have been like, oh shit, okay, but this, this right here just feels like, okay, yeah. One of, uh, one of the strongest fighters, strongest in keys just got taken down by Momoshiki for the sake of, oh, Momoshiki's all fucking powerful, guys. I, f I, f I fucking hate this character, bro. F fuck Momoshiki. Hopefully my boy will get revived, but probably not since he's in Jinchuriki. So that was the end of chapter 2 and I gotta be honest, I think this chapter was, it was kinda mid. I like the first chapter better, but let's get to the third one. I can't stand his fucking midget ass bro, I, I'm so glad he's getting his ass whooped. So let's go, Borto chapter 3, here we go and I already, I like the cover, the cover looks solid, so let's get right in. What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ. I, I totally forgot about the nightmare fuel that I witnessed in the movie and the anime. <sighs> oh my god. And here it looks even worse! What the heck? Look, look at this shit, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brother! Fucking ill! What the fuck have they done to my boy? This is this is straight up criminal, bro. This is straight up criminal. Who whoever came up with the design? Like from this right here, you go from this, which already looks no, but kind of tolerable, to uh, whoever made this design, bro, you need to be fired. You, you need to be, yo, no, no, yo, Naruto has trains now, I mean Boruto, that's nice, that's a nice touch to detail by the evolution to be honest, because they always used to be running, bro, stop, stop sitting like that, your shit does not look hard, nigga, look at that, you do not look hard at all, shut up. With, with Conqueror's fucking irrelevant ass, man. Nigga, how many times you almost died? Shut up. B both y'all shut up. Even them kids look harder than you, bro. How is that possible? H how is that possible? With that hairstyle and uh, what? what? Is he bald now? Is Conqueror bald? Fucking bald-headed ass. Fucking nigga thinking like he fucking Doctor Doom or something, nigga. Get the fuck out of here with that fit. You, you, you ain't hard, bro. Okay, back to the positives. I want to apologize for my outburst real quick. Nigga! But let's get to the positives. What I like here is the fact that Sasuke is telling Borto to find his own method in his own way. And not keep asking him how things should be done. Which also elevates on how Borto's character continues further on the line in the future. I feel like it kind of also makes more sense since Borto's change, not just the time skip, but also the change in general of his style, the way he uses his fighting style, kind of elevates on this point right here, which I like. Also pretty solid, Sarda's character, she wants to walk a different path. Since she wants to become Hokage, it kind of makes sense for her to walk a different path than Sasuke, since Sasuke is not the Hokage. And also, it also kind of gives a different feels to it since it's not always the Uchiha having to walk the same paths as they're like um I guess the ones they look up to for example Sasuke and Itachi, Itachi and Shisui it, it just feels different and I like that I, I like the the fact that they're adding something different to it to Sarada also we finally need a first 
Uchiha Hokage, okay? Madara had that spot, Itachi had that spot, Obito had that spot, and it, uh, look, Sarada should be the next. I'm just saying, it should be Sarada, if anything. No, after Konohamaru, then Sarada. Then it makes sense, because it, it would just... It would just feel satisfying, the conclusion. But yeah, that's... Um, I don't know how to feel about this seeing Chojo right here. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying, I know in the exam, don't turn black into ink, but like... You know... If you haven't guessed, it was obviously a joke. Yo, I low-key like that Naruto also feels bad. Like, this situation is difficult for both sides. Borto and Naruto. And I felt like in the video that I made, um, I kind of went more on Naruto's side when in reality, it's actually hard for both. And, man, fuck you, Ed. I'm sorry. Sometimes this shit do be happening. Anyways, feeling bad for Naruto and Borto. But at the same time, I like how they are um, getting more close to each other. Like Naruto kind of congratulating Borto, as shown in the scene right here. Even here, it shows it that yes, Borto is being a brat here a little bit. But at the same time, considering what happened before in the first chapter, I kind of understand why he's pissed off at his dad. Wait, is that Tenten? She still exists? Damn. I, I, I thought this character wouldn't even appear at all in the manga. I mean, I've seen her in the movie and in the anime, but considering how irrelevant she is, this, I thought this was probably a filler scene or something. Because when is the last time we saw Tenten? Except for Shippuden in the war, where she showed off her new uh, potential and ability, and then out of a sudden she disappeared again. Like, Okay, this one seems kind of mean. This one seems kind of mean. I know this is probably a reach, but in chapter 2 right here. <laughs> if if you know about the memes, you know. This appeared before 1010 10 showed up, bro. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Okay, this fight is straight up generational. It is. I mean, now Lee's son throwing hands with Gara's son. Ah, I wish there was more to it, to be honest. Okay, I know I've been rambling on too much about the anime and the movie, but here's my question. Um, does the manga also confirm that Borto is able to use wind style and lightning style? Because, while not shown, I did see a filler episode Yes, it was filler, but where Borto um, fought like against the um, hidden, I think it was the hidden Miss Ninja, and then he used like wind style, and his his attack was called what was it called the Borto Stream or something? I don't know. Is it is it is it canon? Is is instead of is the the move canon or his ability? Write it down in the comments, please. So that is the end of chapter three. And yeah, Tenten do be getting a little bit more screen time. That's good. Wonder how long that will last. So yeah, that was kind of it. I know it was practically more so of a roasting session, but at the same time, I did enjoy the manga chapters. Number two was kind of it, I guess. But number three, chapter three, it was pretty solid. It went like exactly like in the movie, and also. Some of the scenes kind of it, it kind of established my earlier point on uh, my first manga chapter review on why I like some of the aspects and some of the details shown within the Boruto manga. So with that said, next week another two chapter review of Boruto. So stay tuned. Also, our Tuesday will be next week, so be sure to be there as well and. Feel free to join the Discord, and also if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate y'all in the moment. I'm losing control over life.